Hello, welcome guys to Learning by Teaching. Today we're gonna start with statics. I'm gonna be using the statics book uh, made for engineering mechanics. Uh, the author is Hibbler. Hibbler, so you are, guys are gonna see. I'm gonna post a picture right next to the video so you guys see which book I'm actually using. And uh, it's gonna be the 14th edition, okay? So we're gonna start with the first question of chapter one which says, what is the weight in newtons of an object that has a mass of A, 8 kilograms, B, 0 0.04 kilograms, C, 760 megagrams, okay? So what does this kilo, kilo, mega means, okay? So what they actually mean, if you look up at this table I created over here, these are some prefixes. All they mean, like each letter will mean uh, will mean uh, times something. So for example, if we start with the G giga, we have times 10 to the positive nine. Mega, which means times 10 to the positive six. Kilo, times 10 to the positive three. Uh, this is milli, the small m is times 10 to the negative three. Micro, which means times 10 to the negative six. And nano, which means times 10 to the negative nine, okay? It's pretty easy to learn them because they actually go by nine, by, by three, I'm sorry, like nine, six, three, negative three, negative six, negative nine. These are not all the prefixes, but these are the most common ones we're gonna use in this course, okay? So let's just start with uh, the question and the following. So uh, there is a, this formula that we're gonna use when they ask us for weight. So what weight means is actually its mass times gravity, okay? So this is the main equation we're gonna use for this example. And we're gonna start with problem A. Okay, so they're asking us to find the weight in newtons. So they're giving us specific units they want us to find. So the good point is that newtons is actually kilograms times meter per second square. Therefore, we don't have to convert the kilograms. The mass we already have, it's good enough. So we have that the weight is going to be its mass. So the mass, 8 kilograms, 8 kilograms, multiplied by gravity. Gravity in the metric system is 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay? Now, if we use our calculator, A times 9.81 is equal to 78.5 newtons. Okay? If, just in case somebody doesn't know what a newton is, Newton is actually equal to a kilogram multiplied by meters per second squared, which it's actually the units we have over here and over here. So we're good. We found it in Newtons, which is what they wanted us to find. If we go for B, we're gonna do the same. We're going to try to find the weight. So basically we have weight is equal to its mass, 0 0.04 kilograms. Multiplied by gravity, which is the same, 9.81 meters per second square. Okay, if we use our calculator, then we'll find out that 0 0.04 multiplied by 9.81 and this will give us to 0 0.3924 newtons again okay, we can round this guy up to almost 0 0.39 newtons so we don't get so many significant figures. And last, C is gonna be W 
equals so weight equals this 760 mega so if we look at our table mega means times 10 to the 6 so if I want to convert it into kilo in order to have kilograms multiplied by meter over second squared and get the newtons the unit I want we can convert this into 760,000 kilograms and after that we're going to multiply it by 9.81 meters per second square and using our calculator we'll see what we get so we get we get a big number so what we actually get is Seven point forty five mega newtons, which means this mega means times ten to the positive six. Okay, and that's all for today. This is gonna be our first question. I'm um, so thank you guys.